HMS Zebra, was an 18-gun cruiser-class brig sloop of the Royal Navy. She was built of teak in the East India Company's Bombay Dockyard and launched in 1815 as the last of her class. She chased pirates in the Mediterranean, just missed the Battle of Navarino, sailed to East Indies, where she almost foundered, and on to Australia, chased Malay pirates, and was wrecked in 1840 during the Syrian War. Commander Robert Forbes commissioned Zebra in December 1815 to sail her to England. However, Philip Henry Bridges was acting commander of Zebra from December 1815 to November 1816, when he was promoted into Challenger. In May 1816, she arrived in Madras from Calcutta, and on July 28, 1816 she was at Simons Bay where a terrible hurricane stranded and almost destroyed her and the frigate HMS Revolutionnaire. By December 14, 1816, she had reached Portsmouth. There she was paid off into Ordinary, where she stayed until 1825. In February 1825, she was recommissioned for the Mediterranean under Commander Edward R. Williams, and sailed in May. On January 6, 1827, Zebra left for the Mediterranean. She arrived in Zondi on January 28, 1827 carrying dispatches from Captain Gaughan William Hamilton of Cambria and for Captain Irby of Pelican. At Zondi Williams learned that the governor of Mina, Giovanni Mavramikali, had not fulfilled his pledge to bring his galleot and an Ionian prize to Zondi to have their papers checked. Irby had warned Mavramikali that should the papers not be in order the British would seize both vessels, and should Mavramikali fail to comply. He should send his women and children into the mountains as the Royal Navy would be compelled to destroy his houses. Williams sailed on 30th of January in search of Mavramikali. On 4th of February, Zebra's boats brought out from the port of Catacali a small local sailing boat belonging to the pirate Nicola Cipriati, which they burnt. The boats also rescued an Ionian trabacolo that Cipriati had seized. The boats continued their search for Mavramikali's galley along the shore towards Cape Kitris. On 8th of February, near Scardamola, they sighted a vessel that appeared to be their quarry, but were unable to catch it before it took refuge in a port. William sent all his boats into the port to demand that the surrender of the galleot. The boats then left, having received a promise that Mavramikali would sail to Zondi or Napoli di Romania the following morning. Not trusting Mavramikali's word, Zebra anchored only 300 yards from the galleot. When Williams tried to send a further message to Mavramikali, the emissaries were rebuffed and although Williams wanted to respond by seizing the galleot the seas were too rough. In the morning, Williams saw that the hills were ringed with armed men and when the British reminded Mavramikali of his agreement, the governor made no reply. Eventually Zebra fired a carronade at the bow of the galley, dismounting one of the galleot's four guns. Mavramikali agreed to give up his ship and the British then seized her. Zebra sailed on 10th of February with her capture and arrived in Zani on the next evening. On March 4, 1827 Zebra became becalmed off Zia. While there, she observed two boats full of men leaving the island. Zebra sent her own boats in pursuit. One fleeing boat ran ashore and all but four men fled ashore, the British then burned it. The following night as Zebra sailed through the Doro Passage, five boats harried her, firing on her. They then disappeared into the dark when Zebra tried to bring her guns to bear. Williams received promotion to captain in April, and Charles Cotton replaced him in May. Zebra operated out of Malta, protecting British trade in the Greek archipelago, at Alexandria, and around the coasts of Syria and Caramania. The schooner Robert, Thomas Simpson, Master, sailed from Messina for Smyrna on 17th of July. On the evening of 23rd of July, Two boats fired on Robert while she was in mid-channel between Sarfo and Sepinto. About 100 pirates then boarded Robert, taking her cargo and the crew's clothes and possessions. The pirates left at daybreak when a convoy came in sight. Robert approached the convoy and notified Zebra, which was escorting the convoy. Robert accompanied the convoy to Milo and then joined a French convoy to Smyrna. Painting of Sir Edward Codrington in October, Zebra joined Admiral Sir Edward Codrington in Asia, together with Talbot and Dartmouth. In search of a force of Turkish vessels that Dartmouth reported had left Navarin or Navarino and were heading to Petras. Codrington's small squadron intercepted the Ottoman fleet and forced it to return to Navarino. In this, Zebra played a striking role by firing across the bow of an 80 gun Ottoman ship of the line. Eventually, Codrington, joined by more British vessels, together with a number of French and Russian ones, inflicted a massive defeat on the Ottoman fleet at the Battle of Navarino on 27th of October. Zebra missed the battle. Codrington having sent her to get assistance. 
Cotton died on board Zebra of a fever on February 11, 1828 and she came under the temporary command of her lieutenant, Wheatley. Cotton was believed to have developed the fever as a consequence of his exertions on 31 January in rescuing the crew of Cambrian off Carabuso and Candia. Sir Thomas Staines had taken a small squadron to the island off Cape Busa to deal with a nest of Greek pirates that had made the harbour there their home after the Greeks had taken possession of it early in the war against the Turks in Crete. The squadron consisted of Cambrian, Pelican, Isis, Rattlesnake, Zebra, Chameleon and two French corvettes. In the port there were fourteen Greek vessels, together with an Austrian and an Ionian merchantman that the pirates had taken. After the pirates had refused to surrender, the squadron opened fire and destroyed a number of the vessels. Marines from Pelican and Isis then landed to take possession of the fortress there. However, as the squadron left, Isis struck Cambrian, causing her to broadside the rocks in the narrow channel. The strong swell then broke up Cambrian. Commander Edmund W. Gilbert replaced Wheatley in October 1828. In January 1829, Commander Richard Pridham took command of Zebra and sailed her to the East Indies. Commander Durrell de Somere was appointed to command in July, assumed command in November, and sailed her to Port Jackson. However, he left Zebra in February 1832 due to ill health, returning home in the whaler Strathfields A. In September 1831, Zebra was at the Bay of Islands in response to a rumour that a French man o' war was expected, with the suspected intention of annexing New Zealand. In 1832, Zebra was at Port Taranaki in response to a report that the Maori there were planning to attack settlers. When she arrived it turned out there was no unrest so she continued on to Kapiti, and then on through Cook's Straits to Tahiti. In May, Zebra was at Keppel's Island. There she found William Brown, J. Roberts, and all survivors of Port-au-Prince. Brown or Roberts was serving as the interpreter for the king there. In August 1832 Lord Frederick Beauclerc took command and paid Zebra off in spring 1833. Between February and September 1834, Zebra was at Chatham, fitting out. R. C. Macrea assumed command in June and sailed for the East Indies on 24th of September. On August 21, 1835, Zebra was on her way from the Cocos Islands to the Swan River in 100 miles west-southwest of Naturalite Bay when a strong squall threw the brig on its beam ends. Fortunately a port swung open, allowing the immense amount of water covering the weather combings to escape, enabling her to right herself. The waves also threw two guns overboard, later McRae threw another two overboard as well to lighten Zebra. The bad weather continued, and on 27th of August McRae threw the remaining eight cannon overboard. Two days later she reached Rottenest Island and eventually Fremantle. On September 18, 1834 he sailed for the Cape of Good Hope. On the evening of September 17, 1836, Zebra on her way from Sydney to India when she anchored in Port Moye. Her sailing master, Lucius C. Bailey, gave a detailed description of its appeal as an anchorage. The next day, Macria examined Long Island Sound, finding it a good anchorage and an alternative to Port Moye if the winds blew strong from the north. They also remarked on the remains of the Valletta, which had wrecked there in 1825, and on a well the survivors had dug. In 1837, McRae and Zebra engaged with Malay pirates. The East India Company awarded him a plate worth 100 guineas as a measure of their appreciation for his efforts. Zebra remained in the East Indies until early 1838 when she was ordered home. On January 3, 1839, Robert Fanshaw Stopford assumed command and sailed her to the Mediterranean. During Muhammad Ali's revolt against the Ottoman Sultan and Ali's subsequent invasion of Syria in what became known as the Oriental Crisis of 1840 or the Syrian War, Zebra served with the naval force in the eastern Mediterranean under Charles Napier. On February 23, 1840, Commander James John Stopford assumed command. On May 5, 1840, Zebra was in Malta for repairs. En route for Corfu, she had knocked off part of her false keel at Cape Blanco. On 19th of July Zebra joined the first-rate Princess Charlotte, the third-rate Benbow, and the Corvette Daphne in sailing for the Syrian coast. By 8th of September, Zebra had sailed with Admiral Sir Robert Stopford's fleet from Alexandria, which arrived at Beirut three days later. On 12th of September her marines participated in the unsuccessful attack on the fortress at Jbail during which one of them was killed. The boats of whom frigates carries fort and Zebra with 50 Royal Marines, commanded by Lt. R. H. Harrison, Royal Marines, attacking the castle of Tortosa, September 25, 1840. On September 26, 1840, Zebra joined Benbow and the 6th Rate Carries Fort to cover an attack on Tortosa. 
The boats carrying the landing party grounded on a reef while under fire. The boats of the landing party could not get off before the landing party had suffered 8 killed and 18 wounded. This attack too was essentially unsuccessful, with Zebra suffering 3 or 4 men wounded. Zebra was present at the capture of Acre and operated on the coast of Syria. The Navy awarded the Turkish medal to participants in the campaign. On October 16, 1844, Parliament voted a grant to those on board the Royal Navy fleet from 9 September October 10, 1840 and at the bombardment on 3 November of St. Jean d'Acre. From left HMS Vesuvius, Zebra, and peaked during the storm Zebra clearing out on December 4, 1840 On December 2, 1840, a heavy gale drove Zebra ashore off Mount Carmel near Haifa and Rector. During the evening, three crewmen jumped into a gig in an attempt to escape, but drowned when it capsized. In the morning a foreyard was placed over the gunwale that permitted the rest of the crew to reach shore safely. The subsequent court-martial on board Howe acquitted Stopford, his officers, and his crew of any negligence. Rather, the board complimented them on their seamanlike and intrepid conduct. Notes citations references this article includes data released under a Creative Commons attribution share alike 3. 0 Unported UK, England and Wales license, by the National Maritime Museum, as part of the Warship Histories Project. Thanks for watching.